Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Friday, the 27th of September. Cancelling Kiwi Rail's Cook Strait Ferries project has cost the state-owned transport operator nearly half a billion dollars so far. Business Desk reports financial accounts released today show the cost of calling off the project has reached $468.8 million. Danica McLean has more. Kiwi Rail's financial accounts state negotiations to wind down building two new mega ferries and upgrading portside infrastructure are still in progress. Kiwi Rail is reporting a 33% drop in operating surplus. Its inter-islander revenue is up 5% and revenue for Great Journeys up 41%. A homicide investigation has been launched at Auckland's Mount Eden Corrections Facility. A prisoner was found dead with numerous injuries in his double bunk cell about 10 this morning. Thomas Rice reports. Men's Prison's Deputy Commissioner David Patterson says a second inmate who was residing in the cell has been secured in a single cell during investigations. Police say the death's being treated as suspicious and they are speaking with a man. They will work alongside corrections. The Regional Development Minister says the proposal to close a Timaru Meatworks is a wake-up call. Workers were told hundreds of jobs are on the line at Alliance Group Smithfield Freezing Works today. Head Vili Visa says sheep processing numbers are down with changed land use. Minister Shane Jones says there's a lot of pressure on the sector. We've got to identify what we as a government can do to help manage those changes. Do we remain aloof from them? But we need to also ensure that the communities aren't abandoned in this period of um, transition. To the US where people have died and parts of Florida are underwater as Category 4 Hurricane Helene makes landfall with winds topping 220 kilometres an hour. The extreme storm has knocked out power to nearly a million homes. The National Hurricane Centre is predicting many deaths. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says at least one person has already died. Uh, car driving um, on I-4 near Ybor City in Tampa was hit when a sign fell uh, onto, onto the highway. Two people have reportedly died in neighbouring Georgia where a tornado struck a mobile home. Consumer confidence is at its highest since January 2022. The latest ANZ survey shows it rose three points in September to 95.1, the third month of improvement. Chief economist Sharon Zolnis says it's driven by future expectations rather than views of the here and now. She says a net 25% of people expect to be better off this time next year. The future index is actually at 105, whereas the current conditions is at less than 80. So there's a very, very clear split. In sport, Kiwi driver Liam Lawson is pumping the brakes on his chances first up on his full-time return to Formula One after he was promoted by his Racing Bulls team in place of Aussie Daniel Ricciardo. All Black skipper Scott Barrett's promising a strong finish in the second Bledisloe Cup test against the Wallabies in Wellington, with a focus on the last quarter in particular. And illness has disrupted the New Zealand Breakers basketball camp ahead of Game 2 of the NBL season on Sunday at home to the southeast Melbourne Phoenix. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.